Good morning, Belton High School. I'm Tanner Strife. And I'm Jaylee Steinman. And you're watching Cutlass, Cutlass TV, TV News. News. Here's a story on the end of the boys' swim season and the beginning of the girls' swim season by Tana Strife, Logan Ferrari, and Giovanni Aquindo. The boys' swim team came to an end recently. Junior Joey Shoemaker shares his own recap on this year's season and his preparations for next year. My favorite moment at conference this year was when I was uh, timing my favorite freshman counting his laps for him during the 500, and he dropped 33 seconds off of his 500 time. Next year, I think a lot of us hopefully will make it to state, and we haven't made it to state in a long time. The boys haven't. And other kids, newer kids, will drop a lot of time next year too. I see that freshman that I talked about earlier going really far next year, and the other boys will do great. Next year I'm going to go to off season after school and then off season in the summer after baseball is over so I can work on agility and being stronger. Senior Caleb Hodges shares his feeling of his last swim meet of his high school career and looks back upon past years. Um, it was just it's a little sad, but it's made me think of all the memories, good and bad memories throughout the season. Um, I normally swim the 50 and the 100 free. I was probably better at the 50, so that was kind of my favorite one. Um, he just taught me to do my, like, try my hardest and always try to do my best and just win. With the end of the boys' swim season, the girls' season is about to start up. Kami Aikenbrand shares her preparation for this year's team. Yes, I am ready for the swim season. I miss my teammates and having fun with them. Um, I've gone to the pool a couple times, but not done probably enough that I should have. Um, my favorite stroke, I'd have to say backstroke. With Giovanni Aquindo and Logan Ferrari, this is Tanner Strife with Cutlass TV News. Belton Stucco hosted the Trails West District Convention last Thursday. Here's more on the story by myself and Jaylee Steinman. DHS Student Council passed their presidency along at the 2016 Trails West District Convention. Here are a few of the officers discussing the convention. Districts is like kind of like a bunch of schools come together in our area, like their student councils come together in our area, and it basically gives each student council the opportunity to network with each other, like give each other ideas, and we get to listen to a keynote speaker and all that stuff. Um, I had a lot of fun being MC. I knew a lot of people in the crowd from like different events that I go to through student council, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, the planning of districts basically started as soon as we won our presidency last year um, at the other Trails West District Convention. We uh, worked on the district convention probably every single meeting we had. Um, there was a lot of planning that went into it. We had to meet with our other officer schools. Um, I know the officer team was working almost every single night on it because we had to design the t-shirts, we had to come up with the schedules, we had to come up with all the decorations, all the food, and um, we also were up until 3 a.m. Um, the night before and then came back here at 5 a.m. the next morning. So I know all of us were running on two hours of sleep, making sure that everything was absolutely perfect for this district convention. My role in districts was to do food and I did the slideshow. 
Um, but we all worked together on most of the stuff. So the officer team worked on the schedules and the scripts and PowerPoints and stuff like that to make everything happen. With Tanner Strife, I'm Jaylee Steinman for Cutlass TV News. BHS presents Thoroughly Modern Millie. Here's a story by Brian Reyes, Isaac Peterson, and Andrew Phillips. Thoroughly Modern Millie, a musical presented by Belton High School's theater program. Actors Cameron Watts and Ashton Bennett speak to us about the musical. Uh, the play is about a girl named Millie who moves from Salina, Kansas to uh, the big city, the Big Apple, because she wants to um, just be modern and not be like a country girl anymore. But the big thing for her is she wants to be rich, so she wants to marry for money. So she's not really into the whole marrying for love thing. She really just wants to marry for money at this point. Cameron and Ashton give their opinions on their characters. I think Millie is a very strong um, character. She's really set in what she's going to do. She's not going to let anyone mess that up for her. She's just really set in her and determined. At first, Jimmy's kind of a jerk. And uh, later on in the play, you realize he's just kind of a sweetheart, you know? Don't forget to go and see Thoroughly Modern Millie at the Forum Theater tonight and tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. and on Sunday at 2 p.m. To with Andrew Phillips and Isaac Peterson, I'm Brian Reyes for Cutlass TV News. Here's Sam and Sav Sports Report, postseason edition. I'm Savannah Truitt. I'm Samantha Lavalli. And this is Sam and Sav Sports Report. This week, Pirate Football has advanced in the playoffs. Check out the story with Samantha Lavalli. These past weeks, varsity football has had many victories continuing in the playoffs. After a bye week, the team played Smith Cotton in a game that was enticing for all who went. At the end of the game, the score was 28-17 to with Belton advancing. We spoke with C.J. Christensen, the middle linebacker for the team, for his thoughts on the games. Um, I think we've really focused on ourselves these past few weeks and um, become better fundamentally and uh, worrying about ourselves and being very disciplined. Uh, for this next game, I think this week we need to work on uh, pre preparation. Preparation is key. We need to uh, be very serious in practice and uh, practice very hard and watch film, eat right, stay healthy, and uh, just go out there and play as hard as we can. Because of their win, varsity football is going to play battle in the district championship. So go support your Pirates in Columbia at what could be their last game tonight at 7. I'm Samantha Lavalley for Cutlass TV News. Cross Country has also been doing really well. Here's an update with Savannah Truitt. Three sophomore girls from your Belton Cross Country team will be going to state on Saturday in Jefferson City. Bailey Strickland got 14th at districts and 13th at sectionals. Allie Berry got 42nd at districts. And Caitlin Saunders got 28th at districts and 64th at sectionals. Here's Bailey Strickland to tell us more. At sectionals, I placed 13th and state is this Saturday in Jefferson City. My best time is 1920 and that's for a 5k and then I, how I achieved it honestly was just trying to keep my head up and determination and having my teammates there to keep pushing me. I'm Savannah Truitt for Cutlass TV News. And finally soccer played sectionals this past week. Here is Noe Sosa and Sarah Bell with the story. This past Tuesday, the BHS soccer team played in sectionals. We asked senior Juan Garcia what he thought about the season. I think the season as an individual, I played well. I gave it all I got. And as a team, I think we had chemistry and we just fought to the end. With their record of 21-7, and seven, sadly, the boys' season has come to an end. With Noe Sosa, I'm Sarah Bell for Cutlass TV News. Thanks for watching Belt High School. Remember to tune in next week. And as always, Carpe, Carpe Diem. Diem.